Namaste guys, in this video we are going to learn how to make this dynamic rope pulley mechanism in SOLIDWORKS 2022. So let's start. So as you can see I am in default assembly mode. So I am going to make all my parts in assembly for the sake of simplicity. First thing that we have to do is click on insert components, click on new part, uh, select the right plane, press ctrl plus 8 for normal skin to the view. Now click on line tool, draw the line as I am showing. Now click on smart dimensions, 5mm. You can change the dimension as per your requirement, it is just you know rough dimensions. mm and this one should be 5 mm five mm uh, I think that's fine now what I can do is select this line uh, make it construction geometry after that mirror entities select the lines that I want to mirror now select the line that I want to mirror about. So select this line, click OK and make it 2.5. Escape, delete this, make it vertical and click on here. 5 2.5 yes, yes. okay I am facing some issues let's see how to resolve it so basically what I can do Trim this line, trim this, and this line. Hmm. Now that that looks good to me. And go to the features. Click on revolve post base. S select this line as a base. Click OK. Now this looks fine to me. Uh, one more thing that we can do is select this face. Click on sketch draw a circle here give it a dimension as per your requirement 10 mm I think is fine click on extrude cut click on through all click ok let's give some fillet here uh, a question is why some few times we give fillet suppose uh, sometimes there are uh, you know some surfaces that human hands touch there so we give them fillets so that we don't get injuries or you know cuts from there so that is the reason we provide fillets there or sometimes we use something called chamfer so this looks fine select this face click on sketch now let's draw something select this convert entities uh, let's see where it's converting this. Center line. Ten mm, no, uh, ten degrees, not ten mm. My bad. Um, mirror about this line. click ok go to the features click on curves click on split line select this face click ok right there is a point action but not much ok uh, let's select this one and go to the sketch click on merge entities and trim this 
trim this one as well now let's try so yeah that's good uh, the main reason I created it so that when it rotates you can visualize it that whether it is rotating or not okay uh, it has no other mo uh, purpose so exit the assembly component mode now what I have to do is I have to fix this part somewhere so that you know it can't move like this I only wanted it to rotate but nothing more than that so what I can do I will select the top plane of my assembly remember top plane of the assembly not my part so click on here click on sketch draw a center line here escape exit the assembly component mode mates select this face and this line make it concentric click ok after that what we have to do is uh, go to the advance make sure you click on symmetric this is a very important one uh, select this face and this face now select the front plane click ok uh, ok now I have to create something called boxes and after that I will create a rope so select the front plane press ctrl plus 8 let's zoom out now click on here click on new part again select the front plane click on cone rectangle draw the shape of rectangle or square whatever you want as per your requirements it's up to you let's make it 50 by 50 mm 50 mm and extrude up to 50 mm as well mid plane 50 mm exit directional component mode front plane mates front plane click ok and go here let's see this view so I just want to know what is the distance from here to here this face 37.5 okay that's good exit so what I want to do is uh, I want this point center to be exactly uh, coincide with this uh, line okay so what I can do is uh, select this part click on sketch select this face I will simply draw a point at the center of it exit the assembly component mode now what I can do is go to the assembly click on mates select this point select the right plane distance okay I guess I have made okay I have made mistake I want to draw this point on the box so but accidentally what I have done is I have made the point on the assembly uh, you know assembly planes so my bad so select this click on assembly component mode select this face press ctrl plus 8 let's make it view clear and do the sketch select this sketch point this face ok exit exit now go to the mates select this point and select this point distance 37.5 mm 37.5 mm click ok and select this point select the front plane it coincide click ok select this face press ctrl plus 8 so I have made one thing and one more thing I have to do is select this face select the top plane make sure it's parallel always click ok now what I have to do is uh, by pressing ctrl and right click on the mouse drag this part
go to the mids select this point select the right plane click on distance enter the value of 37.5 mm click ok select this face and this face make sure it's parallel select this face and this face click ok and one important mid uh, go to the mechanicals and which mid should I choose let's see select this face press ctrl plus hit mm, go to the mids let's see advanced mids what kind of mids ok linear copper is the mid that I am looking for so select this face and I will go here and select this face so click on reverse so it means if one goes up other goes down and the ratio is 1 1 so it means if it goes 1 mm up first this will go 1 mm downwards and vice versa click ok so if you see if I do that I get this but I have to add one more thing so let's see how to resolve other things uh, I also want to rotate it so what should I do so what I have to do is go to the mates click on mechanical click on rack and pinion so it is asking which pinion diameter or rack travels per revolutions so think about a second how should you approach it so let's up open the calci calculator and uh, if I remember correctly, 37.5 mm is the radius so multiply by 2 it's the diameter so multiply by pi is the circumference so I got the value of 235.619 so it means um, that I have to put the value of uh, pinion pin pitch diameter is uh, pinion pitch diameter let's enter the value which, uh, that is 75 and it will automatically cal uh, uh, cal uh, calculate I guess and just to know that in my case what I have calculated is the circumference of it okay so but I think it will be calculated in this way as well so select this circle for pinion gear select this edge okay for rack I need to select this one for pinion gear I need to select this one okay so if I click on ok and to see this press ctrl plus 8 you can see but it should look odd because it need to be rotated in a positive direction so I will go here click on reverse click ok so as you can see it's now working better now I have to create one more part and after that we are done so let's see how to approach this so click on here click on new part select the front plane draw a circle first uh, diameter is 7.5 not 37 uh, diameter is 75 mm draw the line like this escape similarly draw a line like this and escape click on trim entities okay and go to the features click on sort post space click on circular profile select this one uh, 5mm click ok actually there is a component mode uh, notice something that this part is not at the center of it so what I can do for right now is uh, select this part let's see where I have done the shoe Uh, 
by that uh, clear selection clear selection select this phase and select the front plane and this phase if you hear any kind of weird noises just to know that this, that not done by me that's the outside voice i can't do anything for that and really sorry if you heard anything if you don't that's a good thing and i will go to the frame 5 i guess and move it to here click on calculate uh, it's not moving downward let's see what's the issue so i think this is the last part so i will click on some component mode i will go to the sketches right click sketch okay my bad select these two points make sure it's coincide with it and uncheck this notional references it need to be this is the only time that you need to uncheck this else you will face a problem and make sure this is coincide yes yes make sure guys that you uncheck this one because this is a one time i think on my channel that i'm telling you that you need to uncheck this and exit exit so if i go here and you can see it's good right now so if i click on play it's doing the animation thing let's make it playback reciprocate and increase the fps to let's say 30 before i do that let's change the color of this so that you can visualize better so what color should i make mm, let's see red okay my bad it actually is like the hole but i just want to select the face of it just like the face and make it some other color okay for some reason select on the part so go here and select face hmm where are my colors i think that's fine and what i can do is now calculate just wait for some second because it will take time it's 30 fps animation and my crap pc is doing its best to do the work so you can see that animation is working right now let's right click on it click on disable let's view in 3d you can see it's working quite great so if you have any kind of doubts and queries feel free to ask and i hope you learned something from this video uh, so that's for all if you have any kind of doubts and queries feel free to ask thanks for watching and have a great day namaste